Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Isam Esper, a field application engineer with the support team of Electro Industries. Today's webinar is about uh, the meter manager software, and we will be talking about adding um, the meters, troubleshoot the wiring issues, and um, set up the groups and the automatic scripts. Um, before going to the software, um, I would like to mention how you can get the software. If you please go to our website, as you can see here, electroind.com, and then you can go to product. And if you scroll down to the energy management software, you will find the communicator PQA. So the meter manager is um, a piece of software coming in a one install file with the communicator. And now we just released the new version of the software which called PQA and all the software is coming in one um, setup file. So you have just to click on the communicator PQA and go to download comp PQA pro and you will get this form. Once you submit the form, you fill this information here and hit submit. The download would start and you would get a zip file called setup. So you can extract this file and you can get this communicator installer. Just make sure to right click and run as administrator. Once the installation is finished, you would be seeing a three icons like this, the communicator PQA, the energy reporter dashboard viewer, and the energy reporter setting editor. When you install the, uh, the software at the beginning, you would be getting uh, the free version, which is the light mode. So on the communicator PQA, you would be having, instead of the professional mode, a light mode in red. At that time, if you click on the meter manager, it would not be opened because the meter manager need to be on the licensed version professional mode. And to get that, you we have to be in contact with the sales and they would be providing you later the software license. And you have to go to help software license and enable that license there. So once you enter the license code, the communicator PQA would be switched to the professional mode like this. And at this time, the meter manager would be working. So I will click on the meter manager here and I will be getting this page. So this is all about how you can get the software installed and running. Um, the meter manager is um, a server-based software. Um, it's working um, like if you have a group of meters and instead of being connecting manually to each one of these meters to retrieve the logs and check the configuration, uh, the meter manager would do that by having a group of meters assigned and then we have the option to um, set the time and the interval like when we want the software to retrieve the logs from this group of meters by itself. So we can set it like every day or every week um, and we will talk about this later. Before that, let me start by um, adding the meters to the meter manager. As you can see here, we don't have anything on the meter list. So the first option would be a manual connect. I would click on manual connect and from the connection type, I would choose how I'm connecting to the meter, like either through the serial port or the network port. When I'm choosing the network port, I would be using the IP address of the meter and I would type the IP address like this. And the network port by default would be 502 and the protocol Modbus TCP and the Modbus address is one. This is something can be changed, but this is the default settings. That will hit connect. And once the meter found, you will get this matches, message sorry, saying that this meter not assigned to any group yet, assign it automatically to a meter type group. And if you choose yes, the software would create a group based on the type of this meter and assign that meter in that group. So let's say yes here, and it would show that 
a group shark 200 not found? Do you want to create that? Because this is a shark 200 meter. I would say yes. And going back to the meter list, I will find now a shark 200 group has the new meter. So let's say that I add another meter now also using the same network connection. And I will hit connect. And I choose not to assign the meter to the type group. I would say no. And if I go to the meter list again, I will find the new meter here added to the unassigned group. So at this time, I have the option to right click on the meter and move meter to group, which is the first one here, shark 200. And then I will assign the two meters to the same group shark 200 as you can see here. You can also rename the group by any other thing like the building uh, there or the location. Um, this is all about how we can do a manual connect or manual add to the meter list. The other option would be um, doing an auto scan. This auto scan option here as you can see, it would be searching uh, for a meters in an IP address range. So all you have to do is um, enter the starting IP address. As you can see here, I'm doing this range to this range. And of course, it would be followed by the network port. Um, you can also have uh, the setup to assign or to set up the, the group, how it would be retrieved. We can do that later. I will keep this as default, which is 12 hours. And you can disable the automatic log retrieval. That means it would not be retrieving the logs automatically. I will keep it unchecked, so it's working. And you can also assign the newly found meters to a group based on the meter type, or you can keep it unchecked like this. Once I hit save, you can see here that the searching of IP address is starting by the first IP address. 252, and then it didn't find anything. And 253, it found this meter here. And 254, it find another meter. And that's it, it's not starting. So that was the IP addresses found at that range. So I have now um, two meters added to the unassigned group. Um, so let's say I wanna create a new group for that two meters. I can click on add group and I will name this group and click OK. And once I got that group there, I can right click on this meter and move it to the EIG meters group and the same for the second one. So that's how we can do another um, Auto, um, auto add, so instead of like adding the meters manually, you can have that auto scan in like when you have the meters um, connected on the same network, you can assign the IP addresses and let the software find the IP addresses and assign them to either um, a group based type or you can later assign them to different groups. Um, this is all about how we can add the meters. The next topic would be how we can configure the groups. Um, as you can see here, configure groups. And then we would select the group we have. So we have two groups now. So the first one is EIG meters. And you can see that retrieve the logs for this group is checked. And that will make the software um, retrieve the logs from the memory of the meters in that group. And then we have the option also to check the logs which we want to retrieve. So I can keep all these boxes checked or I can just check the boxes for the logs I want to retrieve. And then I would go to configure and then I choose like the interval or how many times I want to retrieve the logs. So like if you go to interval, you can see that every how many hours you can set that for every one hour if you want, or you can do by a time and set that for monthly, weekly, or daily. And you can choose the time for the day. Just make sure that the system would be working and running at that time. Then I will hit apply. 
and the same for the next group. Sorry, I have to set save first. And then I will go to the next group and make sure that retrieve logs for this group is checked and all the logs I want to retrieve is checked also. Configure. And then I can choose different time or the same interval with different maybe time at 1 a.m. And apply, save. So if we go back to the meter list now, we can see that for the first group, the next action would be tomorrow at 12 a.m. And for the other group would be tomorrow at 1 a.m. So the software would start retrieving the logs for this group at midnight and this group at 1 a.m. Um, the other two options we have also on the configure group, we can reset or enable the reset max and minimum reset. So at this time, um, like we can have uh, configure that at the beginning of the month. So when the software retrieving the logs at the first day of the month, it would reset the max minimum logs. We have also the option to enable the software time synchronization. If we don't have that enabled on the meters or um, you don't have like to set for uh, the time synchronization for every single meter, instead of that, you can come here and set it for that group. And that would be keep synchronizing the time for all the meters in that group. Um, the next topic we will be talking about is the wiring issues. We have a function here called meter issues, and that would be helping to identify if there is any wiring issues on the meters we have on the meter list. If I click on the meter issues here, I would choose from the type, if I'm looking for the wiring or the offline meters, and the time range, I can choose all or for the last month, and I can hit scan all. And now it starts scanning the meters on the meter list. And it's telling me that I have an issue with this meter, the 1800 champs drive, and it's a wiring issue, the voltage out of phase. So what I can do, I can go back to the meter list and you can see this notification here. So I can right click and show phaser. So this function here would be opening the communicator PQA directly connecting to the meter and show the phaser diagram of that meter. So the communicator here, now it's running and it's connecting to the meter. And um, I got the phaser like this opened. So you can see it's pulling from that meter, 18 champs of drive. And you can see that the phaser here, as it mentioned that the voltage is out of phase. So we have the three voltages um, like 90 degree apart in the state of 120 degree apart. Like, let me compare to the other meter, which looks good. I will connect to the 1700 chance of drive, which doesn't have any notification and any wiring issue. And show phaser here. It's still trying to connect. And I got this phaser here for the 1700 champs of drive. And you can see how that the three voltages is 120 degree apart. And every current is lagging by a small angle of that voltage. So that means there is no wiring issues here and everything is fine. So this is a nice tool that can help if you have a group of meters, the meter manager would find um, any wiring issues or which meters are offline and get you the notification about that to troubleshoot it. The other features or other functions we can see on the meter manager also, we can have this list of meters um, created as a backup. So we can go to tools, utilities, system, 
sorry connections and generate connection list so we will choose the where we want to save this and we can give a name for that and then it's saved and give you the option to open it if you want in case you have um, a software issue and um, installed the software maybe on another laptop you can go to tools utilities connection and import connection then find that file and import the meter list from here um, the other also function we can do it's called a meter discovery so you know that we have the auto scan where we set an ip addresses to find the meters for an ip address range but let's say that you have a um, different group of meters um, assigned to different IP addresses. So instead of doing this function like two times or three times, you can go to tools, configure, then system, meter discovery. So here you can assign different um, or more than one IP address range. As you can see here, this is the first IP address which start at 1 to 255 for this IP address range, I can click add, and then I can have maybe another IP address at 220 to 240. Then I can add it there also and update, and that will make the software starts searching for the meters at the first IP address range and then on the next IP address range. We have also another feature like you know that um, all the meters should be having a memory um, to be able to retrieve the logs from that meters and then um, create the DB file for that file, for that meters. Um, we have the old models, which is the Shark 50 and the Shark 100, and that type of meter doesn't have any memory. So before it was, um, there was unable, like we were unable to retrieve the logs for that memory and uh, for that meters and create a DB file. But the software developer had uh, add this feature here where we can keep logging or keep reading from the Shark 100 and the Shark 50 and that would give the option for the meter manager to create a DB file and have the log retrieval function enabled for that type of meters. You have to go to tools, configure, system, and system options. We will get this window here. And you have to go to polling and enable the software logging for the Shark 100 and Shark 50, as you can see here. So if you get this enabled, uh, the software, the meter manager would be logging um, the readings from the Shark 100 and the Shark 50 every 15 minutes um, without having that memory on the Shark 100. From here also, we have the path. This is where all the DB files and the other files would be um, extracted or created. So you can see the COMEXT path, the log viewer path, and the retrieve log path. So you can see it from here. Um, the other also function we have I want to talk about is the meters uh, script. So from the meter list, you can choose any of these meters here and then click on configure meter script. And this would tell you like the first part here, this is the firmware information of the meter and the log path file and the vSwitch. It show also the IP address of the meter and the network port. And if there is any nodes. The other thing you have also the script settings. This is if the meter has um, a security enabled so to make the meter manager able to connect to the meter and retrieve the logs from that meter, you have to 
check the box here and put the password for that data. And you have also the option to choose which logs you want to retrieve from that meter. Meter Cloud, this is to enable the cloud. We have the new uh, product, it's called the EIG Cloud, where we can make the me software, the meter manager, retrieve the logs from the meters, from the memory of the meters, and create the DB files. At the same time, it would push all that readings to the cloud. Um, that would give you the option to have um, too many users maybe um, connecting to that database without being connecting to the meter. Uh, this is a new um, feature and a new software uh, function we have. Um, we would like um, have to uh, implement for most of our customers now and we are um, we would be happy to um, let the sales also talk to you about this option. Um, that's all about how we can um, add the meters and configure the groups um, and the meter uh, wiring issues, how we can find on the meter manager. Um, thank you again for joining us. And I would like just to mention that if you didn't get the attention at the beginning, you can go to the website, electroind.com and go to product software management and you can find the communicator PQA link here where you can download uh, the software to get the meter manager and the communicator software. And if you need help with the software uh, or any other product of uh, Electro Industries, you can send an email to support at electroind.com. Thank you. Have a good day.